Hello everyone, my name is Danny. This review is going to be for the movie called Pavarotti. From Academy Award winning director Ron Howard comes this wonderfully intimate portrait of Luciano Pavarotti, the most beloved opera singer of all time. Interweaving Pavarotti's genre-defining performances with revealing never-before-seen footage, Pavarotti is a movie experience as singularly entertaining as its legendary subject. This is a 2019 film. It's rated PG-13. It runs a little under two hours, and it's just a documentary about Pavarotti. Well, first thing to say is that this has lots and lots of subtitles. Just be aware if you're going to watch this. Second thing is that it's about Pavarotti, if you don't know who that is. He's one of the best opera singers of all time. And he really got famous 70s, 80s with uh, the mainstream crowd and uh, with pop and rock stars and other figures I'll mention here in a little bit. But um, this is just kind of a fun documentary. If you're into opera, you'll like it. If you don't care about opera whatsoever, you probably won't like it or care for, to care to watch it at all. But uh, it's really interesting, and uh, I'll let you know why I liked it. But uh, I think it's really something to at least look up, give it a watch, be informed. I really do. So... Actually, I had to keep notes on this one. I don't keep notes on movies often, but I had to on this one. Um, some of the people that are in this documentary and had correlation with Pavarotti are Placido Domingo, Joanne Sutherland, The Three Tenors, which Pavarotti was a part of, and uh, Bono, and Diana Ross, Dolly Parton, Jose Carreras, Princess Di, and uh, people like Sting. Um, I'll stop there for a second. Um, it's just amazing, you know, like someone that back then, someone that would be in opera, like they could be a global superstar. You know, I mean, like nowadays, you know, do you know anybody in the opera field? I don't know. But someone like me, I mean, I, I know about the Met. I know where I can go to watch a live stream of the Met, but a lot of people don't really care about opera nowadays or know that it's a really big scene or some people are investing their lives in it, you know, but back then someone like Pavarotti, he was he was known, he was well known, he became a superstar, he became you know, on talk shows and all this other stuff and uh so it's just a weird culture switch, you know, like how big it used to be, how maybe not big it is now. And uh, just know that, you know, that this is really amazing stuff. And the people that he correlated with, it talks about in here, in the movie, and it really is interesting. And, and, you know, someone like that big a figure, he was known to people. Uh, the part with Pri Princess Diana really is emotional. You know what I mean? Like, we all remember her and think fondly of her and... The fact that he was really good friends with her is quite amazing. Some of the experiences that uh, Pavarotti had uh, was, well, his like first musical was La Boheme, and I was actually in La Boheme uh, in my area a couple years ago, and it's just one of the more well-known ones for operas. And the fact that he started there you know, makes a lot of people think, wow, you know, I mean, he just started really humbly, and once he got to places like the Met, that live stream, and it's all live, you know, it can make anybody nervous, you know, so if you're starting out, if you're trying something, if you're trying to start a band or anything, like, even people like Pavarotti were nervous, so hang in there, do what you need to do to take the steps, even famous people had to go through the steps. It's really amazing when they uncover that about what musicals he was in. And something common like La Boheme, he made a living off of and got really well known for. That's really a cool part of the movie. Uh, Tosca too, Yeah, and The Met. And 
it starts discussing his involvement with Juilliard, and we all know that school, right? It's like the most well-known music school in the country, or in the world, almost. And uh, that part just, you know, tells you what kind of guy he was. This movie exists and is so long, almost two hours, because it wants to let us know what kind of guy he was. Yes, it's redundant, but it's all very nice. And, um, you know, it tells us what kind of person he was. It tells us he wanted to be a teacher once he, you know, went through his time that, you know, he wanted to get back. And that's the kind of people that I hope exist for celebrities nowadays, for famous singers, for famous people. You know, that there are charities to give to. There are organizations to give back to. It's important to build hospitals and schools. You know, that kind of stuff really matters. And so I'm just glad that Pavarotti was one of those people. Uh, the fact that I knew all these people was just amazing. And I'll just end with this, you know, that coming from a singer, watching this movie, the music is just beautiful. It really is. I totally suggest watching this because maybe you're not in opera, like guru or a big fan maybe you're not like totally into things uh that are like on a stage you know maybe you're not used to that scene but this is one man that lived his life and became famous and knew all these famous people and it kind of goes from the beginning to the end very orderly very nice when it starts being a little redundant it throws in a couple of things that are really nice tidbits or really nice songs really nice performances and everything about it seems to be pretty entertaining and if not to be educated I think you might as well be entertained because the music is just so beautiful by the end you could be crying if you really appreciate this kind of stuff and so that's why I suggest it. Um, I don't know if I would ever want to own a movie like this because it is a documentary. But I'm trying to let people know how great this is. So I'm going to give Pavarotti an A-. An A- for Pavarotti. I hope you guys seek it out. Thanks a lot. My name's Danny. If you like this or any of my other videos, try and get some of them watched. Like and subscribe to my channel if you would. Enjoy your movies. Thanks.